What's up guys, how you all doing? A week ago, some of you probably have seen that video, I have put to the test this Machete saw combo, but it was pretty disappointing because the saw is very, very dull. It's barely cutting anything. Machete is good, the handle is good, but the saw is pretty much fake. So this is what I did. I got a couple of our Machete's competitors, even though I like this brand. And let's see if these ones are any better. Garber, everybody knows that brand, and Amazing Fiskars, you know, they make the best splitting molds. So hopefully one of these actually going to cut really, really well, at least faster than the other one. And also I'm going to bring out silky folding saw, and let's see if that one is going to beat them by far. So if you look at this closer, you see this is, has sharpened edges. At least that's what it looks like. We're going to try to cut something. And if we compare these edges with the Garber saw, um, actually it has a little bit of a sharpened edges as well. What about the sag? Honestly, the sag has stayed up flat pieces. I don't see the cut to the side. You see what I'm saying? Like this one, it has cut to the side. Okay, let's see which one going to cut the best. Number one. Obviously, they're all going to be a good machetas. Chop into sticks really easily. If you need firewood, no big deal. To clear out a bunch of twigs, macheta, even the short one right here, not the best. But if you need a mini one, it works. Longer one better because you have bigger reach and bigger leverage, easier to chop through stuff. This one is the heaviest, so you have a lot more weight to it. So I'd say this one the best machete. But also at the same time, if you prefer lighter ones, I'd go with this one. So this one has less weight, so you're going to use less energy. But all machetes are pretty nice. What I'm here for, how fast can this saw is actually going to chop? Is it actually a real thing or pretty much like a fake sellout thing? Okay, let's try this. Wow, so far so good, cutting it too, really, really good. Fiskas is way to go so far. Getting tired a bit. I like that it's not getting stuck. We're almost halfway through. Actually, more than halfway through now. This is nice. With the machete, no way I would be chopping through this thing. It will take forever. Plus, I'll have a lot of chips wasting wood. Almost there. I'll tell you what, I'm beat so much. Wow, that is nice actually. So far, Fiskars is way better than Sag Machete Saw Combo. Honestly, I can't even imagine with this short blade, this is going to cut it that well. You know what, it's cutting it pretty good, actually. It is a lot smaller blade, that's for sure. I'm surprised, they're actually cutting it really, really good. This short blade. Look at that, it eats through the wood so good. Ah, change the position a bit. Get that end going. Whew. I'm getting tired. <sighs> Surprisingly, this one chops it so well. <sighs> Whew.
I love it. Look at that. But at the same time, this is a twice as short as Fiskars. So obviously, it's a bit weaker than Fiskars. It looks really dull. But whenever you go into the wood, it's actually cutting it. Definitely takes a long time compared to those folding saws. I'll show you in a minute on the same wood how much faster it would be with the folding saw than this. This is garbage at the same time. Even though it cuts it fast, I'm here forever. I'm really tired now. Uh, whew. I'm almost there. Might as well finish it. Uh, it's not most efficient thing, that's for sure. Might as well be chopping it. There you go. Again, I didn't think that would even work with this Machete saw combo. But look how thick that is. And I'll do this sog one more time just to show you how bad it was. You see, it's cutting the least. Oh my gosh, this is so dull. It might as well be not cutting at all. Ah. Oh. So yeah, this is the worst. It's, you can even see this is not sharpened. So Fiskars is the winner, but you know what? Let me show you how much faster it is using this folding saw. It's even smaller than this blade. As you can see, this saw is beat up, rusted a little bit, been using it a lot of times. Let me show you how fast it is. We're gonna go through this log. One, two, three. This is like chainsaw. <laughs> so do you guys still want Machete saw combo or should you stick with the folding saw and a Machete by itself? Let me show it to you again, right here. And the best part is, if this thing wasn't shaking as much, I could be using two hands. But with one hand, look at that. It's like a chainsaw. Obviously not, but it is fast. Boom. <laughs> Folding saws are amazing. And once again, this is a smaller saw than this Fisker saw is. And it cuts too so fast. And the crazy part is like those machete saws got me so tired. This thing, I don't even feel it. It's so fast, it's easy. Look at that. Butter. Boom, and then you can rest. And the cool part is, you fold it together, look small, long handle for two hands if it doesn't shake. And I got here good size firewood for the survival camping station. Well guys, first when I discovered this Macheta saw combo, I was really excited. I thought, whoa, that could be such a good idea. Two amazing tools in one. But this one was a fail. So I bought these two more just to see if any of them is good. And obviously these two are much better and they're good. But nothing beats this thing right here. So much faster and it's gonna save you so much energy. I'm gonna stick with the regular machetas. I'm not gonna pay extra for the heavy saw in the back. It just looks cool, that's it. I would buy the cheapest machete. They are awesome. And then a pretty good folding saw. And that way I have two amazing tools. But again, if somebody going to invent an amazing machete saw combo, I'll let you guys know. And hopefully it will be the regular folding saw. Anyways guys, let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.